A customer dropped these hunks of metal off at the shop and asked us to make a knife out of it. He worked on a recent remodel of the Keystone Lake Dam and said that these came off the old bridge. So let's make a knife. Obviously, we're going to want to cut this down unless we are uh, planning on spending hours drawing it out by hand. Next, we'll grind our piece flat and uh, arc weld some 1084 high carbon steel to one side in preparation for forge welding. The 1084 will make an excellent knife edge. The A709 bridge steel will not. As usual, borax is being used as a flux and applied liberally between forge welding heats. So once we're sure it's solidly welded, I'll nip off the overhang and then we'll grind the sides to check that our forge weld is solid. Looks pretty good. Now comes the work of drawing this out into the desired length for our knife. It's going to be a uh, full tank construction, so it's going to have to be a little bit longer than it might otherwise be for a uh, hidden tank. I'm trying several methods to draw it out. I'm hammering over the edge, uh, and then I'm going to hammer it on the horn, and then I'll cross peen it. My impression is that cross peening goes the fastest for a piece of metal this wide, but perhaps my technique is not the greatest. So as the metal gets thinner, I start to pay more attention uh, to keeping it squared up. Next, we're going to work on the handle shape. One thing I'm really trying to do more of is forge to shape a little closer than I normally do. So remember that only one side of the bar has usable edge material, that 1084 steel. So when we forge in the tip here, we want to make sure it runs the entire length of the blade and constitutes the tip of the knife. So we'll hot cut a piece of the spine side of the tip off and then hammer the cutting edge up towards the spine. And that should uh, get us that usable 1084 all the way up to the tip of the knife. The gentleman who dropped the metal off said it is A709, and from what I read, that's a common bridge steel, so I would tend to believe him. 
The problem is that A709 doesn't have enough carbon to make a hardenable edge. It only has 0.25 to 0.3% carbon. And remember, we need closer to 0.5 minimum. So I actually made a test blade here and I tried to carburize it in the heat treat oven at 1800 degrees first with uh, graphite powder and sodium carbonate which is essentially dehydrated sodium bicarbonate or baking uh, uh, soda. That did not work so I tried again with sugar which, which has worked for me in the past. I got the hardness to about 49 HRC with the water quench which just doesn't cut it. So that's why we're doing this 1084 forge welded uh, piece to the edge which is you know it's gonna look cool so um, I'm not too disappointed. I don't brush off my work very often. I don't get that scale off and that will mean I'm hammering some pitting into the steel but this A709 burns up pretty quick and it forms more scale very quickly. So it, you know if I if I just take the scale that's there off, I'll just form more scale with the metal underneath during the next heat. So I try to strike this balance between, you know, brushing it and keeping it clean as we're getting thinner and thinner and uh, can afford fewer pits. Um, with the balance of, you know, retaining my steel, I, I don't want to, you know, just scale off uh, the entirety of what's left with every heat. So, um, All right, it's to the grinder. We're gonna grind the profile in here and see what we got. Then we'll start taking the sides down and getting that scale off. Heat treat is quenching in uh, Parks 50 oil, and this 1084 hardens up real nice. I'm going to uh, temper it at 400 degrees twice. As you can see, there's a little warpage. I had to sort of clamp it to some uh, angle iron there, and that actually worked in this case. It straightened it out really nice. I'm going to hand sand it to about 600 grit in preparation for uh, etching. It doesn't have to be too fine here to reveal the pattern. It's a very, very simple pattern, so we're not, we're not going to go crazy. You know, believe it or not, uh, acid etching itself will, will uh, get rid of some of the relief and some of the scratches on a uh, knife, so it actually serves a little bit to polish it up some. That 1084 got nice and dark. That's the uh, that's the edge of the knife, and it's right where it should be. These handles are cross-cut zebra wood. I like the look. Zebra wood's a bit of a soft wood. Um, I don't know really how durable it is, but this is 
probably a little bit more of a decorative piece and it uh, certainly fits the bill for that. I took that to 800 grit and then it's into the Danish oil overnight. So it turned out pretty nice. What do you guys think? I wish I could uh, put this up for auction, but it's spoken for. The, the gentleman who provided the steel wants, uh, wants it back. So great project. I learned a lot as usual. Have a good one, guys. And stay tuned, I got more videos coming soon.